Hi everybody, I'm at White Run Mansion today and this place was recommended to me by Peter on my Facebook page so thanks for this Pete. It is really lovely looking place. Show you where we are. There's White Run, there's the stables. So ever so easy to find and you really can't miss it, it's such a huge pile. And I had Elysium Estate literally right next door here but it did mess up the landscape a bit and um, the two do play together quite well but you'll find your stables um, are a bit balked all a bit covered up we have our own guard by the way mm. Mm. <laughs> he's not a very talkative fellow this fountain how beautiful there are all sorts of customization options that come with this mold, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the home, as soon as you get here, you'll find it's locked. But if you come up round the back... Uh, there's a bear. And so you have to kill him. He's already killed the previous owners, both of them. It's quite the sad tale. Look, there she was, collecting flowers. Didn't know what hit her. And there's Daddy. So he's got the deed to the home and the key on him, because, you know, we all carry around our deeds, don't we? <laughs> Too funny. Uh, so that enables you to gain access, and then uh, you can bury the bodies. Which is the nice thing to do. So there we are, and the outside is really very attractive. I love this. This little crafting gazebo here with all your smithy stuff on it. And a little loft. Nice. So there's one way in there as well as the front door. Plus this little feature. That is nice. Enable bubbling. <laughs> that is very cool. In case you're wondering what it, what are those little bushes down there, uh, that's something that's coming from Crimen pretty soon. Uh, some new plants. I am so excited. I can't even tell you. And they are so pretty. So then we have a little ladder that just gives you some awesome views. Over White Run and the surrounds. Wow, would you look at that? So the outside is nice. And although the house feels, it looks massive, doesn't it? It's not actually that big, really. It's quite a substantial size, but not, not, you know not vast. I seem to have done a few castles lately and uh, obviously I get lost all the time but this is much more manageable for me so this is your entrance hall nice fire pit somewhere to sit big old dragon and some mannequins, weapon racks, display cases, etc. And that goes all the way around. And this house comes with very various customizable options, uh, which I'll show you in a little while. This lady, you can enable or disable her. She has 10,000, so if you want to get rid of your junk, Need something. Take a look. she doesn't have anything to sell, but she's got 10k, so that's pretty good. It's been a pleasure. Beautiful indoor pool. There are quite a few bookcases around about as well, and this doesn't auto strip you, and it's quite deep. Or you can just sit in the bath. You don't fancy a swim. 
This takes you outside to the crafting deck. I like these arches. Uh, storage in here, it's auto sorting, um, which is really handy. And you can turn that on or off as well. And you can see the white run shield there at the moment. If I go through there, it'll transport me away. Uh, but there's also another option, if I can remember where that lever was. Here we go. If you want to go to solitude instead, you'll see the shield has changed. And you just step through the portal. Dragon claw display. Couple of beds. <laughs> that really looks like it's holding up the staircase, doesn't it? Okay, well, we'll go up these ones. Somewhere for your masks. Armor stores, followers, gear. So, another couple of beds. More mannequins. Oh, there he is. Warming himself by the fire. Bug jar display. And... She came out the wrong door, but never mind. <laughs> never mind, because I can show you this. If you click on the statue... Okay, here's your control room where you can enable or disable, uh, depending upon, you know, what your PC can cope with and what you like. So you can replace the dragon statue by table and chairs, uh, disable the NPC, or get rid of all the mannequins, Add extra ones in the lobby. Have a stove. Get rid of the guards. Enable a thief guild display. Dragon priest mask. Uh, you can have a light version if your PC is struggling. Disable the upper floor ferns. Spiderweb and wall basket. I guess that's just to help with frames per second. Disable the auto sorting. Enable Shrine of Mana. I don't know what that is. Uh, bug Jar Display. There's your Bubbling Spa. And your Fountain. So that is really nifty. And I know that's going to come in handy for a lot of people who would otherwise love to have this place. There's the Basement Access. If I was going to keep this place for me to live in, I would probably disable the mannequins because this is your bedroom here. I don't want those guys looming over me in the night. No, thank you. <laughs> it's a comfortable enough bedroom if lacking a little bit in decor, you know? But it's certainly cosy. And then you have this really nice big room here, bookcases, a little office desk. Open your treasures. Not that I have any. On the quiet, there are actually quite a lot of bookcases. Hey, dude. And then dining table. Food stores. I like the bits of greenery on the walls that really break it up. And then you come up to your enchanting and alchemy. And these Dwemer research notes, if you Pick those up. That 
that's your spell, your uh, teleport home spell. Nice skill book, thank you. Enchanting stores. So we're right up in the rafters now. These are big posts, aren't they? Massive great newel posts. Oh, he's making himself at home. Oh, he's having a little snack. <laughs> I always like to see what he does when I turn him loose. So this is the door I meant to come out of before. Great views from this little deck. And somewhere nice to sit and chill. Alright, well, I reckon that covers just about everything in the home. It's a nice place. It's very traditional. For me, it doesn't have that jaw-dropping wow factor. Uh, but then, you know, I can appreciate all the hard work that's gone into it. And it really is a good-looking place. I think... Um, I'm just a spoilt brat now, to be honest. I've seen that many wonderful places. My favourites are the ones that I can interact with uh, or are just draw-droppingly, you know, oh, wow. Um, and this has elements of that, for sure. And I can certainly appreciate all the hard work that's been put into making it. So I'll leave you with that lovely picture. I'll call that the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments and for subscribing. I love that. Thank you for keep that interaction, which I really enjoy. It's so nice to know that the videos are being watched, yes. but you know, people are actually commenting on it and giving their opinions. So I'll call that the end and I will see you soon for the next one.